This attack seems personal. Who would want to do something like this to us? I have an idea. Kimun. Gianni Russo. I bet we got plenty of rooms and. Hold on there, Prince Charming. And Finnegan didn't tell you everything in that interview. What are you talking about? Elvira had a diary. It would never work. Bye, Max. Why do you look troubled, Jeremiah? I don't want you to worry about it. Come on, I can't have my business associates working with a lot on their mind. Devante, there is nothing you can do to make the situation better. Does it have something to do with your business? Remember, I run the biggest business in town, so I'm sure I can do something. Clearly, you're not gonna let this go. My business was trashed. What? Were you robbed? By God's grace, we weren't. From what it looks like, this was some sort of message. From who? Gianni Russo. This has to be the first time I've come to school when I haven't seen or even been approached by Max. You're finally free. Yeah, I'm free. I thought you'd be doing backflips, Vanessa. How come it seems like you're not that excited about Max Russo leaving you alone? Hey, Zeke. Michelle, what's up? I'm kind of feeling like you wouldn't care to know. Ben, did you come here to express interest in coming back to the force? I doubt you'd have me back. Clearly, you have no interest. So what are you doing here? I heard that you were interviewed for Elvira's documentary. That's right. What did you have to say? So, he gets someone to trash your place of business, all because you don't want his son with your daughter? I guess he just didn't like my method, probably seeing it as a sign of disrespect. You were smart not to tell the police. All they would have done was laugh in your face. That's what frustrates me. I can't even get him to pay for the damages, and it has to come out of my pocket. He should pay, and I'll make sure that Gianni doesn't mess with you again. Devante, please. I'm not focused on revenge. At this point, I'm just gonna let God handle him. Don't think of it as revenge, Jeremiah. Think of it as a gentle warning. Believe me, I'm relieved that he's not pursuing me like he did before, but, but, I wish it could have been done differently. If my dad didn't confront him, then he wouldn't have gotten the message. My fear was that things would get worse if my dad confronted Max. Instead, Max decided to back off. Maybe if Max tried to win you over when your dad was around, he would have left you alone then and there. Instead, that didn't happen. I'm starting to realize that Max really did care about me. On top of that, he was willing to respect my dad enough to leave me alone. When he apologized to me, it didn't only seem genuine, but he seemed hurt. Are you saying that you feel bad for Max? Why would you think that? You've barely been texting me lately. Whenever I try to text you, it feels like I'm the one carrying the entire conversation. Sorry you feel that way, Nichelle. I wasn't trying to upset you. And I wasn't trying to upset you at the party either. What you mean? After the party, 
I couldn't help but think that you were trying to avoid me. Why would I want to avoid you? Isn't it obvious? If it was obvious, then I wouldn't be asking you. Since I wouldn't let you kiss me at the party, I couldn't help but feel like you were mad since you wouldn't text me like you did before. Sorry, Ben, but you're going to have to wait until the documentary is released, just like everybody else has to wait. Except I'm not like everyone else. Elvira was my aunt. If there's some hidden information you told Quinlan, then I'd like to know. You never were one who took kindly with orders. When you were in the force, you either always questioned me or felt like you could handle a situation better than anyone else. And you were always one to either ignore or deflect my questions. I'm not in the force anymore, Finnegan. Did you share anything new that the public didn't know? All I'm going to tell you is that I didn't share any vital information that would solve Elvira's case. Does that involve you hiding the fact that the police department kept Elvira's diary for all of these years? Look, Devante, I really appreciate that you're willing to help out, but God made it clear in his word that vengeance belongs to him. It's been a minute since I read the Bible. Doesn't David slay a giant or something? Doesn't that count as some sort of revenge? That's a different scenario. Besides, my focus is on cleaning up the office space. Most of all, I'm going to make sure that Gianni's son stays away from my daughter. Knowing the sort of man he is, I don't want my children associating with a family like that. I just feel bad that Max doesn't know the truth. Look, Vanessa, I've never really been a big fan of Max Russo either, but wouldn't God see that Max's heart is genuine? God sees that Max's heart is dirty, just like everyone else's. But God is loving. He found a way to make his heart and the heart of others clean. Of course, someone has to repent if they want a clean heart. Do you think that Max will go to hell if he doesn't get his heart cleaned? That's what the Bible says. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't wish hell on my worst enemy. What about me? I grew up Catholic, but my family isn't as devout as the Russos are. Do you think my heart is dirty, Vanessa? Would I be going to hell too? There ain't no way I'd ever treat you like trash over something so small. You and I ain't even dating. I mean, you're saying all of this, but haven't really been contacting me like you did before. Only because I've been busy. Is that so? Zeke, I understand I only got to know you since school started, but you don't seem like the bookworm type. I got homework to do, don't I? But I also got a job. Oh, really? What sort of job do you have? Elvira always wrote in her diary, I might have been young when she passed, but I remember the important things. She always made sure to keep it safe. All of a sudden, the diary went missing after her life was taken away from her. When I was a middle schooler looking for it, the diary was nowhere to be found. Since investigators were the only people allowed in that room, it only meant that the police department was in possession of it. Seems like I know exactly when you began to rebel against your family. Speaking of you being the Russo rebel, are you taking drugs? Again? Don't insult my intelligence, Finnegan. I'm not. I didn't even know that Elvira had a diary. You mean to tell me how everyone you interviewed who was close to my aunt, no one told you about the diary? Bingo. If the diary is missing, then the department isn't in possession of it. Someone else is. The least I can do is help pay for the damages. Again, thanks, but no thanks. By God's grace, I can afford to pay for the damages. See you later, Devante. You might be okay with someone messing with your money, Jeremiah, but I'm not. Like I said, Ulyssa, I wouldn't wish hell on my worst enemy. Of course I wouldn't wish it on you. But I don't believe like you believe. 
No, you don't. You're still alive, though, which means that God is giving you a chance to get right with him. He doesn't want to see you go to hell either. Then why have a hell in the first place if he sends people there? Hell wasn't made for you and me. It was created for Satan and his demons to suffer. When sin came into this world, God had a plan to keep us from going there. He sent his son Jesus Christ to die for our sins, taking the punishment that we deserve. All we have to do is repent of our sins and trust in Jesus Christ alone to save us. Like I told you before, I wasn't born into the faith. In other words, I was born a sinner too. I had to make a choice to receive the gift of salvation or reject it. I wasn't going to gamble with my life after death, so I accepted the free gift. What do you think happens when we die, Ulyssa? I was never really sure. Reincarnation always came to my mind. Well, you already know that I don't believe in that. I believe we go to only two different places when we die. Ulyssa, I love you, but God loves you more. Because I love you, I'm going to tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. Jesus Christ said that he's the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through him alone. Father, I see that Ulyssa has her heart open in hearing the truth. Father, I pray that she will keep her heart open and that she would put her faith and trust in you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I've been mowing people's lawns. So you're some sort of landscaper? Why not? Especially in this side of the town. The people are loaded. I offered to mow people's lawns at a fair price. There ain't no way I'm going to count on my sister to provide for me all the time. I'm sorry, Zeke. I shouldn't have been so hard on you. You probably think I'm crazy. Yeah, I think you're crazy. That don't make me like you less. Actually... It feels good knowing how much you care. You ain't got nothing to be sorry for, though. But if you want to make it up to me, maybe we can hang out again. This time, let's make it a date. Okay. But just to make it up to you. Bye, Zeke. I'll call you. What's up, Ronnie? Just wanted to let you know that the boss is happy. Keep selling to those rich kids. As long as we keep making bread in this territory the more the boss will be off our backs. The only person who had anything to gain from taking the diary either didn't want a secret exposed or they made sure to silence Elvira for good. But it makes no sense. I remember her specifically yelling at someone about something. Afterward, the person who hurt Elvira rushed out the estate. Um, I know. I was the one who interviewed you, remember? Hey, buddy. Can you tell me what you saw tonight? Where are they taking Zia? I'll tell you soon, Benedict. But you need to tell Detective Burke exactly what you saw. I don't like this. Why can't we just wait until the morning? Do you think he'll be able to go to sleep after what he saw tonight? Heidi... The sooner we get his side of things, the more likely we get a bigger picture on what happened. Okay, Benedict. Did you see who could have hurt your aunt? No. Did you see anything or hear anything? Zia was screaming. Finnegan, please. Just let him keep talking. Heidi, Gianni's right. I need to get as much information as I can get. Benedict. Was she just screaming because she was scared? Did you hear your Tia Elvira say anything or did you hear someone's voice? They were yelling at each other and she started screaming like she was scared. Then I ran down here really fast because she sounded scared. Do you remember what she told this person? I think I heard her say, I don't watch you. I don't want you, or I don't want you here. I don't remember. We're done here. I'm not going to put my son through any more trauma than he's already endured. I remember. 
if someone didn't rush out with the diary, then they must have taken it after that night. Maybe. Or maybe it was misplaced. We both know who you could speak with if Elvira put it somewhere else.